inside of Bears Ears National Monument, just outside of the town of Bluff in southeast Utah. The Cottonwood Wash property is two miles along the bottom of a beautiful Red Rock Canyon. Surrounded by cultural sites, hanging gardens, and towering cliffs. Now, this 320-acre private property is for sale, and its future and the future of the surrounding lands is uncertain. The Bears Ears region is very unique because there are over 100,000 cultural sites throughout the area. Most of those sites are still in the backcountry, not behind fences. There's no rangers or science to tell you where you should go or where you shouldn't go. But it is um, a sacred area important to indigenous groups throughout the area. While many people know about the decades-long effort led by tribes to protect the Bears Ears region, most people are not familiar with the important role that private lands play in protecting this cultural landscape. Many federal protections, which safeguard archeological sites on public lands, do not extend to private property. This makes acquisitions protecting private property like Cottonwood Wash critical. The Wildlands Conservancy took immediate action to secure the rights to conserve this property in perpetuity. Because we recognize its ecological importance and value to the larger cultural landscape, Access to monitor and steward these sites, as well as ceremonial access for indigenous peoples, depends on the public's ability to use this crucial private inholding. Each of these formations also hosts their own endemic plants, which are rare plants that you only find on those particular formations. Like for example, the, the Bluff Sandstone, which is all around us here with these cliff walls, they're uh, a host to uh, a number of like, what we call hanging garden communities. And these hang garden communities, each one of them that you visit are all different. In terms of Navajo ethnobotany, every species that you see out here has a Navajo name. Every species that you see out here has a Navajo use. The hang gardens themselves is associated with what we call the Navajo windway chant system. So in these gardens is where the wind people live. And the plants that you see there, you know, like the, the monkey flowers and the aquilegias and also like the petrophytons, the, the, the rock spirates, they're all used in the windway chant either as medicines or as tobaccos or like ceremonial plants. And that's why these gardens are very important to the, the Navajo people in that term. We are really fortunate in Bluff to have a great deal of extraordinarily beautiful land around Bluff. Um, Cottonwood Wash is particularly important to me because it gives access to so much additional public land. By itself, it's, it's an amazing acquisition for the town of Bluff, but in combination with the other public lands it opens up, it, it just couldn't be more important. To lose access to Cottonwood Wash, it's a big part of our community we wouldn't be able to enjoy what the beauty of this place is. There's no better place to put money than in protecting natural resources and green space. You can't replace this once it's torn apart and once it's built upon. The Wildlands Conservancy owns and manages the largest nonprofit nature preserve system on the West Coast, which is open daily to the public for free. Through permanent and active stewardship, successful partnerships with organizations and agencies, and by educating our visitors, our preserves can benefit the public lands that often surround them. A great example is here at Whitewater Preserve, which protects and provides access to the Santa Snow National Monument. Visiting with respect is one of uh, the key principles that Friends of Cedar Mesa tries to promote, and those are various tips on how you can visit cultural sites respectfully and minimize your impact to those sites. The Cottonwood property would be a really great place um, to do some of that educational learning because it's only a few blocks from the Bluff Elementary School as well as a few blocks from the Bears Ears Education Center. So it would provide good opportunities for outdoor experiential learning as well as citizen science. The younger generation to come and enjoy the, the, these wild, wild areas like barriers 
like the, the Cottonwood Canyon here. All these, they, they need to be to remain undeveloped, you know, to remain their, in their wild state, in their wild nature, where you can sit there and have the energy. There's, there's so much energy out here, the energy that will come from nature itself. Protection of America's spectacular lands has always relied on inspiration and generosity. Together, we can protect this land forever.